Good morning and uh, welcome uh, to Morning Rush. Uh, thank you for joining us and uh, uh, bringing your ABU title. Uh, obviously, a big fight coming up, uh, uh, 22 March. How have the preparations for that fight been going so far? Yeah, good morning to you too. I'm happy to be here. Uh, so far, so good. The preparation are all good. We are putting up the work. All, all is good. We're just waiting for the big day. Thank you. Right. And uh, uh, in terms of your opponent from Tanzania, how much do you know about him? And for you, how big is this fight in terms of uh, your, your career so far? Yeah, I've, I've seen his fight. I've seen his fight fighting before. I've seen his fight. He's a good boxer. And we are going to give a good show, but obviously I'm going to get back my title because I just don't want to end up here. I want to reach it. So oh. it will be a good fight. Good fight. So what are we talking about? Are you are you cutting for a, a knockout, points, victory? Thing? What's what's the what's the strategy as we build up uh, to this particular fight? Yeah, my build up a knockout comes in the way. When you are in the gym, we don't train for a knockout, but it's how we work it will come. The hard work will pay for sure, as we always say. The hard work will pay. So the knockout will, can come in the way, but we don't train for knockouts. If a knockout comes in the way, we see an opportunity to grab it. All right, cool. And, you know, the Piri family, you know, you might be very familiar with that uh, name. Well, uh, Aliyah is trained by his older uh, brother, Ali Otto Piri, his coach, uh, the likes of uh, Charles Manucci, uh, Brendan Dennis as well. But now, obviously, uh, working uh, with your, your brother, what has that been like for you as somebody, you know, who has worked so much with the different boxers in Zimbabwe, who've gone on to enjoy so much success, to then be able to rein it in and bring it into the family and work with your young brother uh, as he builds up to this big fight? Yeah, it's a big opportunity, though, uh, to work with my brother. And uh, uh, we're working hard, we're working hard. And uh, yes, I was working with Charles Manuja and, 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 and Brendan Dennis. Uh, I was getting experience again from working with those guys. And uh, thanks to them, and thanks uh, very much. And uh, for now, I'm, I'm working with my brother. And um, yeah. We are working hard. We'll get there. We're working hard. We'll get there. Uh, I mean, obviously, working with uh, the likes of Charles and Brendan, what are yeah. some of the things that you've been able to pick up from just that process of training them that you've been able to maybe trans transfer uh, to Aliyah? Yeah, people are different. People are different. Uh, Charles Manucci and uh, Brendan Dennis are different. So uh, the most important thing is uh, it's hard working. It's hard working, yeah. It's working hard, yeah. All right, and obviously looking at it, I've been uh, in the build-up to this. Uh, the, yeah. As a trader, you have to push him, you know, to, exactly, <laughs> to exactly. go to certain limits. Like, how has that affected your, your relationship? I'll start with you, uh, Ali, <laughs> as brothers, you know, because even yeah. with my, my brothers, none of us are boxers, but they can, they can be that tension of sibling ri rivalry. How have you guys been able to manage that and just be able to make sure that you get the best out of each other in terms of preparing for this ABU World Away title defense? The good thing is uh, we managed to, to, to separate uh, the two. Uh, when we get to the training, we work as a boxer and a coach. I'm just, I'm just sitting with my brothers. I'm just sitting with my brothers. I'm just sitting with my brothers now. We are now, we are now a boxer and coach. Then when you, when you get home, that's when you do the... The brother in the uh, yeah, thing, yeah. <laughs> is, is, is he a tough trainer? Because I know big brothers, naturally, even if you're not a boxer, big brothers can be quite tough. Uh, what is it like working with your brother in terms of uh, preparing? Do you see that uh, making you a better fighter? Uh, training with my brother, I cannot say that he will make me a better fighter. He will make me the best fighter. Because boxing doesn't teach you fighting only. It teaches you discipline. Focus, stay focused, stay dedicated. The most thing I like about my brother, he teaches me life. On boxing, he teaches me different things that I can face with it, with life. On the other part of the of the work, when you are living life, his brother, I get something different from what I get from boxing side. So when I combine these two, I'll be the best forever because I get the most good from him. He's the best. I know you're only just 23, but already looking at your resume, obviously that ABU welterweight title, the highest achievement, but you've done well at uh, the African Games. I mean, what do you put that success down to so far in terms of you know, being so young but having been able to achieve so much already? Uh, this success means a lot to me 
it means a lot because I have dreamed about, about this moment a lot. I have dreamed about this moment a lot. As you look, uh, some of the boxers were champions even at their, when they were 15 a, a years old. Canelo Alvarez, the likes of Canelo Alvarez. So for me, it's a dream come true, it's a step out, but for the age, I don't worry about that because anyone can do it. Age doesn't matter. Just keep strong, keep fit. And uh, in, in the report that we had in the first hour, it came out that, you know, I think you had offers uh, for scholarships in other sports. I think cricket was one of them, rugby, I think, another. Like, how did you then end up settling on boxing? Is that an influence of your big brother or you've just been an all-round athlete uh, throughout your early life so far? Uh, in my life, when I was in school back then, I was a person who liked sports. I liked sports a lot. I did rugby. I was given a scholarship. I did, I did cricket. I was given a scholarship. But the one thing that got me to boxing is my brother, because I just wanted to follow his footsteps. Even when I was young, you know, when you are in the primary level, write a composition about who you want to be. It was always about my brother. And one day, I still remember when I was in primary, even my teacher asked me, what does your brother really do? <laughs> and what was, your, what was your response at the time? <laughs> I said, it's boxing. <laughs> <laughs> so did you ever get into any fights in school? Because obviously, you, you now have that desire and passion to probably, you're dreaming about it, right? And you're a kid. Yeah. You, you, maybe you'll be shadow boxing and, or maybe somebody tries to bully you. Did you ever get caught up in fights in school and you know, you're like, ah, you know, I come from a boxing family. <laughs> Ah, you know, it's, it was crazy. Yeah. I got in, into a lot of... <laughs> and I'm sure you won most of those. <laughs> yeah. <Did> you? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ali. Obviously, uh, I, I don't know how this went down now because I'm thinking you've got a young brother who looks up to you so much, who respects you and who wants to follow in your footsteps. But he's also getting offers to do different things. You know, most people, they get a rugby scholarship. Everyone will just be like, go for it. Or cricket scholarship, go for it. Not, even, not just one. Yeah. Scholarship is <laughs> two different sports. But then he says because of your influence, he chose boxing. Was there ever a conflict for you to say, you know what? You know, ah, maybe you should go to rugby and cricket and uh, follow that. Or you were like, you know what? Nah, I believe in him. We can take this boxing thing to another level. Yeah, when those scholarships came, I, I also advised him to, to take cricket, especially cricket. Yeah. <laughs> just, go to, just go to cricket, you know. But Jimmy said, I know, I know me, I know what I, I, I want to be a boxer. So then I said, I know, okay, if, if it's what you want, it's okay, we can, yeah, we can work on it. Yeah. And, and now, obviously, with this, uh, March, uh, this fight, the ABU, a title defense, uh, that's on March the 22nd, 2nd, 7th, I'll see it. Uh, like when, when you look at Zimbabwean boxing, especially uh, you know, in recent times, we've enjoyed a lot of success. But where do you feel the sport is in terms of its growth? Do you think it's getting enough support, enough attention for, for it to go to places where it needs to go? Yeah, the thing is uh, we do have a lot of talented boxers here in Zimbabwe. But uh, the thing is it's lack of support. So we need support. Uh, yeah, we need support from uh, from the government. We need the support from the from the country. Yeah. Exactly. All right, then uh, Alia, I'll just come back to you to that fight. Obviously, you sh shared your ambitions, but you successfully defend that title. Like outside of that ABU title, you know, uh, what are the long term ambitions? Like when you look at the long term in your career, what are you hoping to achieve uh, from a boxing perspective? As I said, I have dreamed about, about this, the ABU title. I still live and I still dream. I'm dreaming about more. I want to be the world. I want to be the best. That's okay. where I want to get WBC gold. Not silver, not what, but gold. I want to be there. And what do you think you need to do to make sure you get to the promised land? Uh, what I need to do is just stay focused, listen to the big men and put in the hard work. Where, where, where does that trust and belief and just complete faith in your big brother come from? Like, I know you said he was a big influence on you growing up, but like, what are some of the, the traits that you go, you know what, I mean, you go, to, you know, I'm not doing cricket, I'm not doing rugby, because my brother, like, what is it about him that, and the, his, his boxing uh, relationship that he has with you, that made you say, you know what, that gave you that conviction, actually, to say that this is the path I'm going to take. 
you know when when you are growing up when you are growing up as a kid uh you see someone in the family then you feel that that vibe that age i wish i could be like him like even the way he talks to people the way he he manages these things even the family side the way he manages talking to his kids and age i wish that i can be friends with my kid like this i wish i can do this with my kid i wish i could drive like this i wish even driving even what <laughs> everything he does you just wish like age i wish i could be just like my brother you could look in the family age my dad does this ah, he is good at this he is good at this but age i i don't feel that vibe with my father than i feel with my brother i need to be with him that runs my garden again <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> I'll just do things like yeah. you see it's no more but in that world is yeah uh, I don't maybe just before we let you guys go maybe uh, in the build up to that a uh, fight like what's the training program looking like between now and the 22nd and for people who want to come through and support you guys you know how can they get in touch and you know how can we come and uh, watch the fight at the Seven Arts uh, Theater on the 22nd Right on the fight uh on the fight on the 22nd uh, we are almost there we are 90% there fitness and uh, in terms of training Ali is training three times a day in the mornings he wakes up early in the morning and do a red run for 10k then in the afternoon we go to the gym and do some sparring with other guys then in the evening again at home in other moments that I know just roll but him and I know as let me just do a bit and bit so he just said uh, uh, so then um on the tickets uh you can get them at uh, body active gym by the borough of Escos or at my gym at Rome Valley or to contact me on 0772694405 all right i'm sure we'll put up those details on our social media pages when we actually uh, do post uh, this interview but uh, sure. uh, it's going to be an african boxing uh union of Walter White uh title defense it'll be Uh, this uh, can we see this like, yeah yeah it'll, it'll, it'll be this belt. like i'm, <laughs> sure. I'm going to give it to him the guys on the i don't want him to feel like he has to defend yeah. his, his title <laughs> <laughs> title for me yeah. so it is the 22nd of march uh, that will be at uh, seven hours uh, theater there will be uh, several undercards there including uh, female champion Kudakwashi take money to wonder will be up against uh, Zambia's Alice Mbewe and uh, yeah uh, it's a boxing family the Piris uh, Alia or maybe just before you go or maybe just look into the camera and just speak to your fans and uh, promise them what's going to happen on the 22nd and maybe you could also say uh, a word for uh, Mkola what what are you going to do to him, uh, come the 22nd yeah greetings to all my fans the greetings to all the people I just want to tell you come in numbers and come on time. Uh, to my opponent Said Mukola, I wish and dream that you are waking my brother. Work as hard as you can because when I win there it's not just a sport to me, it's my life my brother. So come in strong and get the hot stuff. Thank you. I couldn't have said it better now. Looking forward uh, to that big uh, fight here, yeah, man. Konapo Konapo. Ipapo Ipapo Pazetien Prime. DSTV Channel 294. The place to be.